Next, let's head over to defining who the card holders and card holder groups. I opened the new access management tab that is now available in Access Camera Station. And here you'll see a view where you can actually see card holders and groups. I press the plus sign to add a new card holder like so and give the card holder a name. The card holder ID could be a social security number, employee number, AD login, or anything that you can link to this specific person. We can add an image uh, profile picture for this card holder. And under more here, you can select to suspend the card holder or apply the need for long access time. If I had any groups in the system, I could add them to the card holder from here. I'll start off by adding a pin credential. And I can also configure a duress pin so that you can have a separate pin that still unlocks the door whilst also at the same time firing off a system alarm if uh, you are under duress. Adding a card is uh, pretty similar to how you do it in Axis Entry Manager. You have a card name and you can select the reader to retrieve information from by pressing this button or you can input your card number manually. We can set expiration dates uh, or validity. Uh, I can say that it has no end date, a specific date, or I can set an interval. So it has a expiration from first use or from last use. The end date looks so. Defining the first use, you have a number of days, months, years, or times, or you can have a validity lasting from last use. So you can actually have a need to constantly use your card, otherwise it will be expired. You will see the two credentials here. And I can add another credential if I have a temporary transit card that I want to use as my access card. Let's say I give that card a validity of a day in the event that someone forgot their card at home. And I save the card holder to the system. I can also create a card holder group. Now you see I've added some more card holders here. Uh, I can press the plus sign and add a group instead of a card holder. I give the group a name. And from here, I can also add the card holders, just as I then can add a card holder from the other side. Here you see that these three people are now in a group. I can also open up the card holder profile as seen earlier, and I can add the group to the card holder from here as well. 